In this video, we will cover how to combine multiple samples. After having normalized the samples, we need to combine them before next running joint dimensional reduction and clustering. There are two methods available in Chipster for this, merge and integration. Merge simply combines data frames or objects into one. The other method, integration, is useful when you have strong batch effects present in the data. When finding corresponding spots in the samples, technical and biological variability can cause batch effects, which can affect the results. These batch effects can be removed with integration. The integration is implemented by computing dimensional reduction and finding anchors in the shared correlation structures of the datasets. These anchors represent spots in a shared biological state. After this, the actual integration is computed using the resulting anchors. The combining tool can be run by giving the normalized R objects to the tool and choosing the combining method. As output, you get this combined R object which you can give to the next tools.